Hello everyone. Today's topic is dynamic memory allocations. So we'll cover linear search using dynamic memory allocation. Now we'll cover the introduction about linear search, then the algorithm of linear search, one example, and then we'll come to the program. So what is linear search? It is a sequential searching algorithm where we start from one end and check every element in the list or in the array until the desired element is found. So it is the simplest searching algorithm because one by one we will search <clears throat> linearly in all the array elements if the element that we want to search is present or not. Now we come to the algorithm. So basically we check for each of the element in the list comparing it to the key element that we want to search or we want to find in our array, whether it exists or not. So if any element is equal to that value, then we can say at that particular index, it is found. If not, we and uh, if not found, it not matched and we have reached the end of the array without finding the element. So we can say the element is not found. <clears throat> so this is the general logic behind linear search. Now let us take an example we have taken six elements at the different locations starting from 0 to 3, 4, 5. So 0 to 5, six elements are there in the array. I'm supposing A. So this array A contains these elements. Suppose the element that I want to find or the key element that I want to search is equal to uh, 17. Now, one by one, the first element that is there, it will be compared with the key element, then the next element will be compared. So logic is that this key element 17 will be compared whether it is equal to this element 23, which is at the first location. Then if not, then we will move ahead to the next element in the array. Then on comparing 17 with 4, which is not equal, then we'll move ahead to the next element. So one by one, we'll keep on moving to the next element until we reach that particular element or reach the end of the array. So our condition that is there, if we come to the program, it is starting for the first element that is it. So index value will start from zero, then I will be less than equal to n, which is the number of element, total number of elements that are there in the array and I plus plus. So that when the key element is compared, it is compared first with element at the zero index, yani ki a at zero. Then if not equal, then it will compare with the next element a at one index. Likewise, a at two index, right? So, so on until and unless we reach the end of the array or we reach either uh, an index value at which the element is present. So here at the index value A at index 4, this element is present, 17 is present, right? So we can say at this point, we can stop our searching because the element has been found. So what we can write here, we are comparing the key value with the changing index value. <clears throat> so whether it is equal to A at any index I, right? So if it is equal, so what we can do, we can place a flag variable uh, when the compiler is visiting this condition. So this condition will be visited only and only if the uh, to both the element, the key element and the array element are same. So at this point, I can place a flag variable here so that just to denote that this condition has been visited and we can print that the element is found and it is at location which is at i right and further no searching is required so i can write break statement with the help of break statement the compiler will come out of the 
loop. So this will be the three statements that are there according to the condition if the match is being found. If not, then initially I have taken the flag variable to be zero, right? So if it is zero, after checking all the elements, suppose I want to search 19, which is not present here. So it will keep on searching to the next index value also. It will visit all the elements, but this element 19 will not be found in the array. So after this loop, the flag value will remain the initial value which is 0. In that case, I can say that the element does not exist. Right? So, this is the logic behind linear search. One by one from starting from 0 index till n, uh, sorry, less than n, will compare if the key element that you want to search is equal to the any array which is at index value i. If it is so, then the flag value is changed. We print that the element has been found at a certain location which is at i and we can further break from this loop or we can come out of this loop. Now, after this whole loop is visited, if the flag value remains zero, then the element does not exist, right? So this is the simple logic. Now, you want to write this with the help of DMA. So what changes we have to make? First of all, <clears throat> with the help of DMA, if I have to write, so I require a pointer variable, suppose PTR. In, the, in this case, I took A variable, right? So I'm taking PTR pointer variable. Now, in this PTR variable, I will assign the uh, array length, array size with the help of malloc and n number of elements which are there, which I have input using scanf, which denotes the number of elements that I want to store. So, first of all, I have to type cast the pointer variable void pointer which will be returned from malloc. So int asterisk will denote the type casting for the pointer then followed by malloc function malloc then size of the variable which is uh, sorry size of the array total array which I want to allocate the memory that I want to allocate. So here it will be n which is the number of elements into size of the data type and here the data type is int, right? So this step, with the help of this step, I can allocate the memory <clears throat> and if the particular n number of elements for that, uh, this particular memory size is available, so it will be allocated at a certain address, suppose 200, if the n number is 6 at 200, so till 212, this memory will be occupied. This whole block will be occupied of 12 byte for the six elements of integer, right? So this initial address 200 will be returned here in the malloc function in, with the help of void pointer. It will be changed with the help of typecasting int asterisk and then in PTR, this address value 200 can be stored. Now, if I want to access the array elements, I have the initial base address. So I can access with the help of pointer arithmetic, which is, it is here i equal to, our comparison is starting from zero, right? Less than n i plus plus. So what we are comparing, if the key element that I am comparing, if it is equal to the value present, this is indirection operator, or the value at address operator which is stored in PTR plus I. If it is equal, then only the flag variable will be changed to 1. Then I can print here element found. <coughs> And 
break from this loop as soon as this element is found. Now, after checking all the elements, if this loop is completely executed, and the last value of i is 6. Yani ki, <coughs> all the elements from 0 index to 5 are checked. And the flag value still remains same, still remains 0. Equal to equal to 0. So, I can say that the element does not exist in the array. So, element not found. So, this is the simple logic behind linear search. So, linearly, one by one, we check the key element, whether it is present in the array or not. Now, coming to the program, based on this only, if we see, so initially, to include malloc function, we have included stdlib.h header file. Then, in the main, I've taken ele for uh, storing the value of the key element that you want to find. Then, n for the number of elements. Then, strict ptr, so that the base address of the dynamically allocated memory will be there in ptr i for the index value that will change one by one and flag variable for denoting whether we have visited this condition of element it is equal to the array element or not if so then we can say element is found otherwise we can say element is not found if the flag value is remaining zero the pointer arithmetic how we have written ptr plus i here in scanf and how we have written for comparison a strict PTR plus I. This is covered in previous video of uh, dynamic memory allocation for bubble sort. Right? If I execute this program now, first the number of elements that are there. So I'm taking five elements, suppose. So the enter the array elements. I'm taking five random elements. Now, the element that I want to search, suppose I want to search 8. So, it will print upon searching. It will be one by one comparing with all the other elements. And at last, it will say element found in array. So, this will conclude the execution of this. this program so this is the program here and the dry run for the same so one by one the value of i will change so when the i value is changing the address value which is i'm taking 200 the initial address now so 200 plus zero first of all when the i value is zero so it will remain 200 only then in the next iteration 200 plus one this one will be uh, denoting how many address I have to jump next. So the next address is at after two bytes. So 200 plus two bytes, that will be 202. It will point into 202, which is the address of this second element, four. This four will be compared then with 17. It is not true. So again, false. So until and unless we find the comparison. So at the last 17 is compared with 17, which is a true comparison so the flag value here will become one and we can print the element is found and break from this loop thank you